10 Extreme Monsters You Don't Want to Find Monsters come in all shapes and sizes, and while one can argue that they're nothing more than a legend or a myth, some of the creatures we'll be discussing today will surely make you think twice. Whether to frighten children into behaving, to create a fear of the unknown, or having seen some otherworldly creature, the monsters we'll be bringing you today are either terrifying or amusing. It's up to you to decide. Welcome, everyone, to Mind Read, where today we'll bring you a list of 10 extreme monsters you surely wouldn't want to cross paths with. Have any suggestions for a video idea you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments below, and we might end up using your idea for an upcoming Top 10 video. Alright, everybody, let's get started. Number 10. Baba Yaga in Slavic legends, the crazy old lady, the wicked witch, she's seen as a spirit of the forest that leads hosts of other spirits. Grotesque and with iron claws, she's known to have an appetite that is unquenchable, but she's also as slim as a skeleton. With her knees touching her chin, she travels in a mortar and pushes herself around with a pestle. She has three servants, white horsemen, red horsemen, and black horsemen. And when asked, she'll describe them as my red sun, my bright dawn, and my black midnight. There are so many variants in the story of Baba Yaga that it's not even known if she's a wicked or a wise being. Some claim that she kills poor maidens for fun, and some suggest that she's a helpful guide. Anyway, we believe this one is probably one of those creatures that came into being just to keep wayward children in line. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for all of you that'll just take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And boom, 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Kraken For generations, the fishermen of Norway and Greenland have been hearing tales about a fearsome sea monster, the Kraken. Supposedly, this enormous beast has huge claws that will snatch you out of your boat and drag you down to the bottom of the ocean. The Kraken is a legendary, cilopod-like sea monster of gigantic size in Scandinavian folklore. According to the Norse sagas, the Kraken dwells off the coasts of Norway and Greenland and terrorizes nearby sailors. Perhaps the most detailed description of the Kraken comes from the Danish historian Erik Pontoppidan in his Natural History of Norway from 1755. He notes that the beast is round, flat, and full of arms or branches, the largest and most surprising of all the animal creations. He cites various fishermen, who unanimously affirm, and without the least variation in their accounts, that if you row out several miles into the Norwegian Sea in the summer, you're in serious danger of falling victim to the Kraken. There have been numerous occasions throughout history where this monster would wrap its tentacles around a ship, capsize it, and devour anything and everything on board. But was it just a giant squid that mistook the hull of a ship for a mouth-watering whale? Or does the Kraken really exist? Number 8. Wendigo The word Wendigo comes from the Native American Algonquian language, meaning evil spirit that devours mankind. The Wendigo is a terrifying beast, but because they're so swift, it's extremely difficult to get a good look at the monster. Most are tall, having long limbs, and are extremely thin because they're always hungry. Its maw is filled with sharp and yellowed fangs, and its hand and feet end in razor-like talons. The Wendigo's twisted lips are flecked with blood, and their long tongues are a disgusting dark blue. The lore on this beast is extremely diverse, all of which emphasizes its size. The Wendigo is allegedly so big that the human mind is unable to fully comprehend it, and the beast's sheer size is enough to make the human heart stop. Number 7. Dragon to be honest, in the recent years, we've somehow been programmed to see dragons not as some scary creature, but rather as a pet, thanks to movies like How to Train Your Dragon or Game of Thrones, with Khaleesi's flying around in the skies above her Dothraki army. However, wouldn't it be absolutely terrifying to see one in the flesh? Just imagine a colossal flying reptilian beast with a nearly impenetrable hide, massive gnashing teeth, and who could forget, the ability to breathe fire. On screen, it's a different story, but a world where there are creatures that can breathe fire is certainly not one where humans would want to live. Number 6. Basilisk The basilisk's name comes from the Greek word meaning king, because it was said to have been the king of the snakes, the most deadly, and no one could quite describe it because to look upon it meant certain death for the beholder. 
In European bestiaries and legends, a basilisk is a legendary reptile, reputed to be a serpent king who can cause death with a single glance. But the best description they have for this creature is the head and legs of a rooster, tail of a snake, and the body of a bird. Its wings were said to either have been covered by feathers or scales. It's said to have been born of a spherical, yolkless eggs laid during the days of Cyrus, the dog star, by a seven-year-old rooster and hatched by a toad. Its likeliness, for some reason, is used as ornamentation on many medieval churches, capitals, and medallions, and is also used in Middle Age manuscripts. Number 5. Siren In Greek mythology, these sirens were dangerous creatures who lured in nearby sailors with their enchanting singing voices to shipwreck them on the rocky coast of their island. They're considered to be the playmates of the ancient Greek goddess Persephone and were banished into the seas after failing to protect their goddess. There are multiple descriptions, but the basic one is a bird-woman hybrid who played instruments or sang. In later descriptions, they were thought to be either seductive, beautiful women or mermaids. And they're not just limited to Greek mythology. A German version of the siren is known as a Lorelei. The German legend says that a beautiful woman was convicted of bewitching men and murdering them. Later, she fell to her death from a cliff, leaving an echo of her name behind her that has been haunting the coast ever since. Number 4. Medusa The fair maiden who fell in love with the Greek god of the sea, Poseidon. Legend says that her love with the god led to the wrath of Athena, who turned her into a slithering monstrosity and converted her hair into snakes. Everyone who gazed into her eyes was instantly turned into stone. Anyways, Medusa is dead, according to Greek mythology. Perseus, a mortal son of Zeus, betrayed Medusa to save his city and his people, turning a monster to stone by letting it gaze into the eyes of Medusa. But guess what? Even after being beheaded, Medusa was still alive, and her head was just as functional off as it was on. And who knows? It could still be out there, buried under thousands of years of Greek rubble, just waiting for someone to dig it up. Number 3. Yinaldo She the word Yinaldo She is a Navajo word that means with it he goes on all fours. Yinaldo She, or a skinwalker, is a human who is able to shapeshift into various animal forms through witchcraft. Skinwalkers are generally considered frightening, evil, dangerous, and difficult to kill. According to the Native American legend, the Yinaldo She curse people and cause great suffering and death. At night, their eyes glow red like hot coals. It's said that if you see the face of this creature, they have to kill you. But if you see one and know who it is, they will die. If you see them and you don't know who it is, then they have to kill you to keep you from finding out who they are. They use a mixture that some call corpse powder, which they blow in your face. Your tongue turns black and you go into convulsions and eventually die. They're known to use evil spirits in their ceremonies. Skinwalker stories are told among Navajo children, and they often describe a life and death struggle that either ends in a skinwalker or a Navajo killing the other. Or there are partial encounter stories that end in a stalemate. Encounter stories may be composed as Navajo victory stories, with the skinwalkers approaching a person and being scared away. Are these just stories, or do these creatures actually exist? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Number 2. Cthulhu Howard Phillips Lovecraft was an American writer of weird fiction and horror fiction, who is best known for his creation of what became the Cthulhu Mythos. This terrifying, almost godlike creature has an almost coming soon feel to it. He's described as a truly horrible monster with a body that's a combination of an octopus, a dragon, and a human. It's said to be dead but dreaming in the lost city of Relier, a place of madness that is sunken into the depths of the Pacific Ocean. It was said to have been a high priest of the Great Old Ones, unnatural alien beings who ruled the Earth before humanity formed, worshipped by gods by the few misguided people. It's said that they are a horrible nightmare and will return causing worldwide insanity and mindless violence before finally displacing humanity forever. All right, so before we move on to the top name on this list, First, let us give a big shout out to Samin Khan for providing us with this image of this helicorpian shark that roamed around the Earth's seas millions of years ago. Thanks so much for sharing! Number 1. Monangal Never heard of these before? Good. But we're about to ruin it for you because this is pure nightmare fuel right at the top of our list. 
The Monongal is a mythical creature native to the Philippines, a malevolent, man-eating, and blood-sucking monster or witch. More like a vampire on steroids. It's a hideous, woman-like being that is capable of severing its own body in half at the torso. The upper half flies off in search of prey, while the creepy, bloody lower half just stands there. Very fitting, considering its name means one who removes slash separates. To kill one, you must find its lower half and rub salt, ash, and garlic all over its exposed flesh. This prevents the two halves from joining together again, and the creature is destroyed as it's touched by the rays of the morning sun.